Hey guys, it's Alexi coming at you with this week's installment of Retro Gaming Goodness. There's no doubt about it, we're breezing through the year like it's nobody's business, and those retro titles and old school consoles just keep on coming. Yes, most of those AAA titles had a couple of major releases in the past couple of months, but that only means we get a steady stream of classic ports, remakes, and reimaginings lined up for you all. From the ZX Spectrum to the Commodore 64 to, get this, a literal lawnmower. I know, right? You best believe we got the hottest weekly scoop just for you. So sit tight because you're in for one strange but awesome ride. But before that, make sure to like and subscribe so you'll always be up to date with the latest retro news. Click that bell icon so you'll know exactly when our news goes live. Let's go! If you're looking for a cool new ZX Spectrum game to play, then you're in luck. We've just got news that you can now play Paco Billy's retro game of Arlo. But make no mistake, because this isn't your average platformer. In the game, you take on the role of, you guessed it, Arlo, an alien stranded on Earth who's on a mission to retrieve some magical space age artifacts. The journey you'll take is filled with danger at every turn, from menacing enemies like robots and soldiers to tricky traps and moving platforms. It's safe to say that Arlo will put your skills to the test. Packabilly has really gone all out with meticulously designed levels, multiple themes, high quality music, and gameplay that'll keep you on the edge of your seat. If you're a proud ZX Spectrum owner, Arlo should be on your list. Now we move on to a port from the ZX Spectrum, the Commodore 64. We're looking at one of the most difficult games of Spanish software history. Abu Simbel Profanation was the third in the Johnny Jones saga and originally released in 1985 for the Spectrum, Amstrad CPC, and MSX. Developed by Victor Ruiz and released by Dynamic Software in Spain, it's making its way to your C64 to challenge you. Players take on the role of Johnny Jones and explore the tomb of Abu Simbel. Your objective? Well, you rid yourself of the Pharaoh's curse. Profanation is a static multi-screen platformer with various traps, moving enemies, keys, and doors to unlock to progress. One thing to take note of is that it's extremely difficult. You're basically looking at Dark Souls' granddaddy. Worry not, for if you play the game in emulation, you can use a quick save and load feature or take advantage of the infinite lives training modes in the Laxity version released way back in 2018. It's a nice loophole, but come on, where's the challenge in that? So if you're up to the challenge, and if you dare, pick up Abu Simbel Profanation right now. So about that thing we mentioned a while ago, about the lawnmowers, yeah, we weren't joking. Yes, we talked a whole lot about Doom and Doom Likes on this channel, but nothing can prepare you for Doom on a robotic Husqvarna lawnmower. Not the console you quite expected, huh? So basically, if you own a Husqvarna automower narrow model, then you too can play the classic 1993 title and even hook up to other lawnmowers for multiplayer play. According to robotic software engineer at Husqvarna, Bjorn Manfred, the whole concept came to life over the Yuletide season when his friend was over for the holidays. I mean, just like most ideas, right? Well, Totally unexpected, it's definitely an exciting partnership between Husqvarna and ID Software. But if there's one thing they have in common though, it involves mowing things down with reckless abandonment. The robotic mowers started around $3,400, so it won't be the cheapest reason to play Doom. Still, if you do have one of these lying around, then it's time to fire up the good old soundtrack and slay some demons while keeping your lawn nicely maintained. And there you have it, another week of sweet retro gaming goodness. If you have suggestions for any news to cover, or if you missed anything, let us know down below. As always, don't forget to like the video so YouTube's algorithm shows us some love. Again, I'm Alexi. I'll catch you all again next time.